All right, now that we have the uh, the back off here, um, we're going to take a look um, at the uh, the boards and stuff in here. But the uh, the one you, we really want to concentrate on is this one over here, and this is the uh, the power supply board. So um, we're going to go ahead and take it out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another one under this tape here. Eight screws you need to take out, and then you need to make sure you disconnect this tab this tab um, and then the power tab right here um, and then after that we're gonna have to make sure we get off this connector um, and then when you take off this screw there's gonna be a little um, wire connected with the screw so just make sure you remove that as well so come back after I do that all right now you have all the uh, connectors off um, the last thing you're gonna have to do is there's this little connection right here between the uh, power supply board and what I believe is the backlight board. Um, so the easiest way to get this off, um, you really just have to pull it left to slide these um, these pins out here. But if you unscrew this screw right here, and there's a little tab up here that you can pull out, you can pull this board up a little bit, and it's easier to, uh, to slide that board out. All right, so now that we got the uh, power supply board out here, uh, we can take a closer look at it. Um, the one thing that I noticed, you know, just when carrying this around is that this pin over here um, that connects to the, what I believe is the backlight board, is a little bit loose. And I've noticed, and I've seen on the internet, um, this was actually the problem with a lot of other people's TVs. So I, I examined the whole board, the front and back, and really cannot see, you know, any resistor or anything that is, has an obvious problem. So I'm thinking this is probably my problem here. So you can see it's a little bit loose. And then, actually, if you flip it over and you look at this connections here, it's kind of hard to see, but let me turn maybe to this here. So I don't know if you can tell, but on that bottom, far bottom right pin, um, let's see if I can do this right about here do you see this sort of heat damage right here that's in the in the pcb um this is probably caused by a shorted pin here so i'm pretty confident that the only thing we're gonna have to do to fix this tv is to re-solder all these pins make sure this connector is um you know held in place well and has good connections and um yeah we'll put it back together and see if that fixes our problem so uh, let me uh, turn my soldering iron on here and I'll probably need the smallest pin tip that I have. I don't know, this one might work. That won't work. Here we go. Let's try to use this. Oh, this isn't even on, thank God. All right, let's take this tip off here. It's very hard to film and do things. All right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Here, I'm just gonna do this off camera. So switch out this tip here. Not the smallest one I have. So here's the smallest tip that I have, and all right, we will heat this up here, and I'll see you in a second. All right, well, I couldn't record and solder at the same time, but um, I am in no way the world's best solder. Actually, I'm pretty freaking horrible, um, but what I did is I just put some flux on here. It's hard to even see it. Let me see if I can go through here. Um, and I used some um, 0.8 millimeter lead leaded solder, um, which that solder has flux in it as well. I think it's like 2% or something. But um, it just flows a little bit better. So you definitely need flux if you don't have it. And uh, I just retinned all these um, pins. And it's not a great job, like I said, but 
now, if you look at this piece, it's no longer loose. So all those connections are good. Um, let me just clean up my... Oh, I'm gonna get this off. Let me clean up my desk here. And we will head back to um, the CV.